Shalom and welcome to Two Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled, How Does Para Aduma Atone for the Chet Egel? The Medrash Rabbah Bamidbar says on Pashat Chukat that the Para Aduma somehow atones for the Chet Egel. What's the connection? It's a Para, they're both similar animals, but is that it? Rav Kook says there's more. By Chet Egel we came out of the Midbar, something was wrong, Moshe wasn't around. They don't want to rebel against God and leave God. On the contrary, we're celebrating, we're connecting to God. Who's already says they were connecting to Him in their own special way. And Rav Kook says that's exactly the danger. A person who feels spiritual, wants to connect to God, and concocts his or her own ways to connect to God, disaster. There are billions of people, each one trying to connect to God. It's a noble motivation to connect to God, but it has to be through Ratzon Hashem, through God's Torah, His mitzvot. So as we understand how they're connecting us to God, tefillah clearly, learning His Torah is clearly connected to Hashem, and sometimes we are clueless and it's anti-intuitive, like para aduma. This act makes Him tahor, Him tamay. We don't understand, and yet it connects us to Hashem, and that's the message of para aduma. That when we connect to Hashem, it's through Hashem's directives and not what makes sense to us and the way we feel we connect to him but through his Torah and whose mitzvahs and therefore we needed that paraduma something which connects us to Hashem even though we don't see how it does exactly to teach us a valuable lesson and to counter the false idea of the ego where we can connect it our own distorted way of trying to connect to Hashem Shalom